It seems like identity politics has infested nearly every aspect of our day-to-day -day lives and people are sick and tired of it, especially in the entertainment industry. Hollywood has been pushing this for years. So when you see something that has a contrary narrative to that, when you see something from Hollywood, from the entertainment industry that pushes back on the concept of woke identity politics, everybody's going to pay attention. And that's exactly what happened with Kate Blanchett in a clip from her new movie Tar that is going absolutely viral because she brings it all to the forefront in this scene. Kate Blanchett in Tar dismantles woke identity politics. Don't be so eager to be offended. And in this movie, Kate Blanchett plays a conductor and a composer. And in the scene, she's talking to her students. And when she asks what they think about a certain composer, they say, well, you know, I don't know because straight white male and she proceeds to absolutely obliterate them. Let's get into this article here. In a new movie, Tar, Kate Blanchett plays renowned orchestra conductor and composer whose unchecked ego leads to her ultimate downfall. But the movie isn't entirely unsympathetic to its monstrous heroine. In one scene, she holds a master class where her ideas about music collide with her students' woke identity politics, and the results are ugly. The scene shows Lydia Tarr, Kate Blanchett, teaching a Bach piece to her students. When she asks the student what he thinks of the piece, he replies, and let's just get into the clip. Now, there's a little bit to this, and it goes on, so we're going to let it play for a while. But she's sitting there playing Johann Sebastian Bach to him, and this was his response. Right. Now, the big question for you is, what do you think, Max? <sighs> you play really well. But nowadays, white male cis composers, just not my thing. Don't be so eager to be offended. The narcissism of small differences leads to the most boring conformity. The narcissism of small differences leads to the most boring conformity. And this is very reflective of what we see on current college campuses. It's even reflective of what we've seen, the attacks that are on basically anything that can be considered of European origin. When you look at classical music, those things have been said, especially taught at college campuses in recent years. This is a little bit of pushback on that. I guess I do Perez is okay. I mean, no, like, I kind of, anyway. Oh, well, then you must be aware that Perez once famously stated that jazz was a Negro product exploited by the Jews. But you see, the problem with enrolling yourself as an ultrasonic epistemic dissident is that if Bach's talent can be reduced to his gender, birth, country, religion, sexuality, and so on, then so can yours. Someday, Max, when you go out into the world and you guest conduct for a major or minor orchestra, you may notice that the players have more than light bulbs and music on their stands. They will also have been handed rating sheets, the purpose of which is to rate you. What kind of criteria would you hope that they would use to do this? Your score reading and stick technique or something else? It's the perfect way to throw it back. Again, I don't know what Kate Blanchett's actual beliefs are on this stuff. I, I have no fucking idea. I know this clip is going viral, though, because it resonates with a lot of people. The idea, what she said before... If you're going to decide, you know, how important someone is or if we should respect that person or whatever based on their gender, based on their sexuality, based on their skin color, based on their nation of origin, based on their sexuality, well, then people are going to do the same exact thing to you. And uh, this little bitch right here in the movie has an interesting response. All right, everyone. Using Max's criteria, let's consider Max's thing. In this case, Anna Boabal's Dolce. Now, can we agree on two pieces of observation? One, that Anna was born in Iceland, and two, that she is, in a I don't know, Waldorf teacher kind of way, a super hot young woman. Show of hands. All right, now let's turn our gaze back to the piano bench up there and see if we can square how any of those things possibly relate to the person we see seated before us. <coughs> now, where are you going? You're a fucking bitch. And you are a robot. I mean, unfortunately, the architect of your soul appears to be social media. You want to dance the mask, <laughs> you must service the composer. 
The architect of your soul seems to be social media. Now, this is just one clip from a, a full-length movie. I have no idea of all the context surrounding it, but but there is no doubt that that right now a lot of people were talking about this clip because it's just not super common to see something from the entertainment industry that comes out that is putting woke nonsense, woke identity politics on full display and completely and totally dismantling it. Let me know what you think about this clip with Kate Blanchett and her new movie, Tar, in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my PO box and my Patreon as well. I'll talk to you guys later.